Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 18th of September to the 22nd of September 2017. We have some exciting news to share with you this week and I'm sure some of you have already seen some of the changes on the YouTube channel already and are wondering what they are. As of last week, Ethical Trading Institute has been acquired by Mayfair-based Forex brokerage Portex Markets Limited. And for our friends overseas watching this, that's based in London. And with that comes some exciting opportunities for you guys, meaning that anybody who has a Portex account can access the live rooms Monday to Thursday absolutely free of charge. And between now and the end of the month, absolutely everybody can come into the room for the next two weeks, try out the live room free of charge as well. So if you're interested in checking out the live room absolutely free of charge for the next two weeks, Simply click on the link below in the description, pop your email into the box and we will send out an access token for you for this coming Monday. So it will be great to see as many of you as possible in the room next week. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and we can see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index and we're on a daily chart here as you can see. The US dollar index has been in a downtrend and we've had a bearish bias on the US dollar index for a while now. We have priced below the key area of resistance over here at 92.945. And as you can see, it tried it once here, tried it here before failing, and then turning around and testing it as resistance over here. Now, as long as the US dollar index remains in this downtrend and this downtrend remains intact, as you can see, we are still underneath this downward sloping trend line here. And as long as we stay in this downtrend, we're going to be looking for further declines in the US dollar index, and we are going to have a bearish bias on the US dollar index. And we're looking down to the next key level of support at the 90.450 in the US dollar index. Now we are starting to see momentum fading in the US dollar index as you can see. So there could be a reversal fairly soon, possibly down in the 90.45 area. And if we do get a breakout above this trend line, then we will be looking first of all back to the resistance area of 92.945. And a break above here would clear the way for a potential run up towards the 94875. But just to reiterate, as long as we remain in this downtrend, we want to be looking for shorts and we do not want to try and catch a falling knife by trying to pick the bottom of this currency. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now you can see oil last week started to push to the upside again and it broke through the 4937 area over here. We started to accumulate above this resistance area and as you can see it's testing it now as support. So going into next week we are looking for further advance in oil which should help out the Canadian dollar. And we are looking to initiate longs potentially in oil itself up towards the 51.25 area which is the next key area of resistance on oil. Now the first pair we're going to look at is the Euro US dollar. Now you can see the Euro US dollar has been in an uptrend. We had a fairly deep correction over here uh, and we had a retest of the key level of support at the 1.18455 area. You can see we had a bounce from this area and in fact if we put a trend line on like this you can see we're starting to break out of this downward sloping trend line. And so as a result, we go into next week looking for further advances in the euro US dollar. What we would like to see really is a bit of a pullback and a correction down into this area here, probably down towards the 1.1900 before we look to initiate longs off the back of bullish formations and patterns in this area down here. And we're going to be looking up towards the targets of the 1.21050, which is the next key area of resistance on the euro US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now the pound US dollar just has been on a tear and it has absolutely smashed through the targets that we had set uh, in the last week and I think even the week before. We broke above the key area of resistance at the 1.34074 and we are now looking to continue the pound strength next week. But we are first of all looking for a correction. Now it's very, very, very strong this push to the upside. So we may only get a very shallow correction. But ideally we'd like to see a pullback and a retest of the 1.34074 area down here. 
And we'd like to see this acting as support where we'd look for bullish formations and patterns, first of all, up towards the target of the 1.36710, and then higher up to the 1.3940. But just bear in mind, it may take more than one week to get up to this target up here. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, the US dollar Japanese yen, as you can see, pushed up with some very, very strong momentum. And we are in a downtrend in the US dollar, so this just goes to show the Japanese yen is in fact probably the weakest currency out of all of them. And you can see on this push to the upside, we broke and held above the 109.940 area here. So going into next week, we are looking for further advances in the US dollar Japanese yen. What we would like to see is a pullback and a correction, potentially a retest of the 109.940. That would be great. This would be the, an optimum area to look for bullish formations and patterns to appear in the US dollar yen. And we'll be looking to initiate those longs up towards the 112.117 target in the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, if we do get a break below the 109.940, we are going to be looking down towards the 108.265. If we do get a break down towards the 108.265, then we could also be looking for a bounce up from this area, and we could be on for a kind of head and shoulders pattern in the US dollar Japanese yen. Next, we're going to look at the Aussie US dollar. Now, the Aussie US dollar as well is in a longer term uptrend, as you can see, it's making higher highs and higher lows. Now, we are sitting above a key level of support uh, and resistance. Resistance over here, support here, support here, uh, resistance here broken, now testing as support. And that is at the 0 0.79957 area. Now, as long as we stay above the 0 0.9957 area, we're going to be looking to initiate longs in the Aussie US dollar. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form pretty much where we are now. And we're going to look to initiate those longs up to the next key area of resistance at the 0 0.81630 in the Aussie US dollar. If we get a break below the 0 0.79957, we could be on for a retest of the upward sloping trend line, as you can see. And this would also provide an optimum area to look for those longs up towards the target highlighted over here. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, the New Zealand US dollar has been moving to the downside for a while. So even though we had a weak US dollar, the New Zealand was in fact uh, weaker than the US dollar, as you can see. We did get a push to the upside over here, and it looks like we're forming an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which is a reversal pattern to the upside. We had this kind of corrective move last week, and we pretty much went nowhere in the New Zealand US dollar last week. We are looking for further advances in the New Zealand US dollar to the upside, and we are looking to the targets of the 0 0.73900 and also the 0 0.74600. Those two targets here as the next two key areas of resistance in the New Zealand US dollar. Now, something important to point out for next week is we do have elections in New Zealand next Friday, so that means two things. One, we may not see the New Zealand US dollar doing anything for the entire week until we get to Friday. And two, it also means that the New Zealand US dollar could resolve itself pretty much either way, uh, depending on the outcome of the elections. However, based on what we're looking at at the moment, we are expecting a move to the upside in the New Zealand US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now the US dollar CAD is forming a continuation pattern to the downside known as a bear flag. So we are expecting further declines in the US dollar CAD. However, we finished last week above the key area of support and resistance. And I mean, it's been bouncing around this area as there has been a battle between the buyers and the sellers from the 1.21705. And so what we would like to see next week is a break below the key area of support and resistance at the 1.21705, a breakout of the downward sloping trend line. And we're going to look for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area here. And we're going to be looking to initiate shorts down towards the targets of the 1.20097. And also further down towards the 1.18940, which are the next two key areas of support on the US dollar CAD. If we stay above the 1.21705, we start to see a bit of US dollar strength or maybe a correction in the CAD. Then we are looking potentially for a move up towards the 1.23400, which would be the next key area of resistance. 
and a good place again to start looking for short to the downside if we hold at this resistance area. The next pair we're going to look at is the euro pound. Now again we're going to look to capitalize on the pound strength recently uh, by taking shorts in the euro pound. We need to see a correction in the euro pound first. Uh, we could be looking for a pullback to the 0 0.88665, which is a key area of resistance. So you can see it bounced very slightly over here. So if we get a retest of this area, we're going to look to initiate shorts from this point. And we're going to look down towards the 0 0.86998 as the next key area of support and the target on the euro pound. Now, if we get a deeper correction and we get a break above the 0 0.88685, we could be looking for a deep pullback all the way to the 0 0.89846, which could provide some counter trend opportunities potentially, but preferably we'd be looking to initiate shorts from this area down towards the target of the 0 0.86998. But because this is such a strong move and we have such strong momentum, we may just see a shallow correction taking place in the euro pound before further declines. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound yen. Now the pound yen has been pushing to the upside as we've had pound strength. We're looking to three targets to the upside in the pound yen and ideally we'd like to see a pullback first to the 148.142 which is a key area of support and resistance on this pair. So broken as resistance over here and we're looking for it to come down test of support before we look for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area. However the only problem we have is because it's so strong again similar with the other pound pairs we may only get a shallow correction or even a sideways move before we start to see those bullish formations and patterns forming and before we can start to look to initiate longs up towards first of all the 152.267 then we also have a secondary target at the 153.348 and we have an ultimate target up here at the 154.880 which is a very significant area of resistance and the overall target on the pound yen to the upside. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound Oz. Now the pound Oz, like all the pound pairs, has been pushing to the upside fairly strongly and we're looking for a continuation in the pound Oz. It's getting a little bit extended as you can see these wicks coming in here suggesting that we're starting to run out of steam a little bit in this push to the upside. So what we're going to be looking for next week is a correction in the pound Oz. Now again, because it's such a strong move, we only may get a shallow correction like this before we start to look to initiate longs. However, we would like to ideally see, to give us the best risk to reward return, a pullback and a retest of the 1.67969. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in these areas before we look to initiate longs up towards the target of the 1.71470 this week in the pound Oz. And finally, we're going to look at gold. Now, gold has been an overall uptrend as the US dollar has been declining because gold is paired against the dollar here, as you can see. Now, we're looking for a continuation to the upside in gold, but we currently sit underneath the key area of support and resistance at the 1326.55. And again, we have this kind of choppy price action over the support and resistance level as the buyers and the sellers are kind of fighting to push this one way or the other. Now what we'd like to see is if we do start to see further declines in the US dollar index next week, we'd like to see a break back above the 1326.55 area and some accumulation in this area before we look for bullish formations and patterns to appear where we can look to initiate longs up towards the initial target of the 1362.11. And if we can break through this target, we're looking at secondary targets to the upside at the 1384.39. Now just bear in mind if we fail to push above the 1326.55 and the US dollar decline fails to materialize then we do have a key level of support to the downside at 1295.87 where if we fail to break above we could look to initiate shorts down to this level. So that is it from me for this week guys. As always I hope you enjoyed this video this week. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I very much appreciate all of you who do that on a regular basis. I look forward to seeing you in the room next Monday. Don't forget, it's totally free. You can come and check out the live room for the entire rest of this month. So the only thing left to be said is I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the weekend. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.